Or is it? Oh, that's welcoming. That's welcoming. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil Village. No, this is not where I left off last episode. I la I, I was near the church, but I just remembered I still have one more lockpick. And I, guess what? I'm in front of a locked thingy me bobber. Uh, there's also this right here. Uh, I only have two lockpicks, so I have to, like, pick and choose which one I want to open. Which really sucks, but whatever. Uh, I'll just pick this one to open. Yes, I know. I hope there's enough lockpicks to go around, otherwise, this will be kind of very junky that you would do a di Shotgun. Yes. Shotgun ammo, thank god. I think I picked the right one. Okay, now we can fit. Oh, you can just hop over that. Okay, that- that works. Whatever. Sure. What? <laughs> that was kind of random. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and meet up with the Duke. Uh, wait, what is this building? I I'm just curious. Oh, this is the, uh... This is at the beginning where we met the crazy lady. Okay. Uh, I don't even know where the locked drawer is. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So we don't have another lockpick yet. I'm sure we'll find one soon. But right now, let's go back and meet with the Duke. And also sell my now empty handgun that is significantly weaker. <laughs> uh, are there any animals? Any animals? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I think I killed all the animals. That's perfectly fine. So we turned our two-winged key into a four-winged key. So now that should mean we can open four-winged doors. This is not the way to Dukes, right? No, I totally missed it. God dang it. I took the wrong turn. <laughs> oh, God. Why am I stuck? Thank you. Jesus. Alright, Duke, I went to the house with the red chimney. What now? How was it? Did you learn anything? I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle down. First, you must use that key and collect all of your little roses flasks. Where are the rest of them? There are four in total. You have the one, and the other lords have the rest. Lords? Mother Miranda is the cold, calculating ruler of this village. Four lords serve under her. The first you've already met, the Lady Demitresque. The second lives deep in a valley of mist, the doll maker, Donna Beneviento. Oh no. None of her playmates have ever come back from that dank old estate. And according to the note, the key to Luthier's house is there. The third oh. is Moreau, a being of twisted flesh that lives in the reservoir past the windmills. It is said that he is not the only monster that lives in those waters. The Hunchback of Notre Dame in the waters, great. The fourth and most dangerous is Heisenberg. He works in his factory on the village outskirts. And the project. Let's just say parts of the human imagination are better left alone. Oh, that doesn't sound good at all. <sighs> oh, thank you for updating my map. Okay. Oh, there was treasure in the, um, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, oops. The Maestro's Collect- Oh, that's Luthier's house, I remember that. At least I think that's Luthier's house. I could be wrong. I could be talking out of my butt, but whatever. Uh... If you truly wish to save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I'll do you a personal favor. I've marked the Lord's locations on your map. Except for Heisenberg. Some treasures still lurk in this village. I'm sure each one will prove of great use to you. Why are you doing all this? Why, it's all part of our first-class customer service. Please do come again soon. Well, thanks for telling me all this information, Duke. Oh, good. I was just thinking... Ah, yes, I have you. Find some quality ingredients and bring them to me. So you're the... 
Duke, you you are like the uh, what was that name again? Uh, the Susie some. There, there was a name where a character, uh, and and books can like do anything and everything. I forgot what the term is, but um, uh, <laughs> you you like you buy, you sell, you cr you 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 craft guns and you cook. I'll take the cooking. Uh oh god, the world's largest writing. I can't read this on my computer. Let me see. Uh, we have herbed fish, flaky yet succulent baked herb and breaded fish. Enjoy this hearty meal to feel even more healthy. Oh, so these things are 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 our permanent buffs, basically, aren't they? Bird and beast pilaf, three flavor. Mit 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 mit. I think it's mit Uh, tor tortura de pui, chiolba de pork. And Sarmala de Pest. Pest. Peste. Pest. Peste. Sarmala de Peste. Jesus. I, I have no knowledge of French. So my so I'm sorry for those of you who might be French and I'm butchering these French dishes. But <laughs> the beauty of being an English major, you learn how to sound things out and kind of get a general gist of it. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. I have six pieces of fish, but I don't have the finest fish. So, we're not getting the Somali de Peste. Uh, the Chiolba de Pork, I can't do yet. Tochitura de Pui, no. I can't even do the three flavor Mitate. Bird and Beast Pilaf. Okay, I can do the Bird and Beast Pilaf. Okay, I'll be perfectly honest, I'm not guarding. I am not guarding, so I don't think this will do me much good. So for now, I'll just get with the herb because I need more health. Will this recover my health, actually? Mm -hmm. I can hardly wait. Just excuse me a moment. <laughs> okay, let me tell you that. Here it is. Please. Join me. Let me tell you this. The, those noises remind me so much of uh, of uh, Legend of Zelda: Call of the Wild. Those cooking noises. Health has increased. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having that again. Yay! And uh, now let's go ahead and sell some crap. Large crystal. Uh, Vivian Knight is five grand. Well, that's nice. Three crystal skulls. A perfect crystal skull. A crystal wing. That I should not sell yet, neither to that. The teddy bear, I can just sell it. The necklace stone, I can just sell it. The wooden go I have a crap ton of crap. Man, they that scavenger hunt in the village really paid off. <laughs> okay. And which gun should I be selling? Uh, I got so much handgun ammo. <laughs> That's so much handgun ammo. Uh, magnum ammo. Wow. That is a very ornate box for handgun ammo. Look at that. With a little wolf motif on it. God damn, I love wolves. Uh, uh, the lemmy is what I'm selling. I'm not. I'm. I'm not using the lemmy anymore. So I shall sell the lemmy. Sounds like I'm saying I'm selling the lemon. Anything else? No. Okay, that's good. So. I'm surprised you'd part with this so early. Well, I don't need the gun anymore. So. Eh. <laughs> Okay, so now we're just left with the necklace with two holes and Madalena's body. That sounded quite terrible, but excuse him, moi. <laughs> okay, let's see I've here. Gotten some new stock. Yes, you do too. You got a pie pom ba da ba 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 da ba da ba 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 ba. Nothing that I care for. And gunsmith. Uh, no, that's the shotgun. I'm gonna increase the power on this gun. One moment, please. Thank you. Uh, I'm good with the shotgun for now. Okay, that's good. This is all an investment. Please come again. Yes, I will definitely come again someday again. All right. So, uh, I got way too much handgun ammo. I really do. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's see. Uh, can I go through this door? It's a four wing key, and it looks like it has four wings. I can't find a key. There we go. Are you kidding me? 
It's four wings. What more do you want? How oh, fine. Oh, excuse me. Uh, let me see here. Can I open this door? This has four... Oh. I see. I don't have that thing in the middle of my key, do I? Okay, that... That makes sense now. Okay. I was like, why is it not working? So, where am I going? Out of my... Cu out of my morbid curiosity. That's a merchant. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. This is like some overgrown brush. This does not make me feel comfortable. I have no idea where we're going. Okay. I can barely see. If something decides to pop out and attack me, I am screwed. Yay! Cooking that food gave me full health. <laughs> I'm just taking my health recoveries as they come along. I'm being like, super ass cheap. Okay. I'm, like, afraid that there's gonna be something up in... I'm hearing so many noises. Animal noises. I'm wondering if it's another bird. <laughs> oh. Well, there's that bird. Oh, there's a lot of du- Oh, okay. Welcome to Creepy Geppetto's Graveyard. Oh, boy. The Creepy Geppetto and Pinocchio. We're, we're gonna die, aren't we? We are so gonna die. I'm hearing noises. I'm hearing crows. Give me your money. Thank you! 500 bucks for one bullet. That counts. I mean, that counts. That's worth it. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Let me go this way first. I probably should not be running. There's a lot of noise that I'm not comfortable with. Uh... Wait, what? Oh, that's just going back in a circle. Okay, that's fine. Okay, back... Oh my god, there's so much noise. Yes. Really, this is, like, creepy Geppetto. Again, another Disney reference, all the... <laughs> I wonder if they did it on purpose, making all these potential Disney references in this game. There is a stroller with... Broken baby parts, that's... Well, well, mannequin parts, not baby parts, I'm sorry. Uh... Oh, God. Oh, this bridge does not feel safe at all. And it's misty. Ha! Huh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I can faintly hear- It sounds like it's on my left. It's, a uh, Aha! There you go. It's like I can faintly hear th that thing move- Bobbing his head up and down. Okay. Let's just get off this bridge before it breaks on us. God damn it. Get me out of here. Okay. Yeah. What? What? Oh. Hey, excuse me? Mia? Ethan, come with me. There's something I have to tell you. Mia? What's going on? Uh, Mia, you, you were murdered. Brutally, right in front of our faces. Is that a... No, that's not. That's just... Mia? Did you go through here? Okay, you didn't go through there, that's for sure. Uh. Feels different. Ethan, you have to fix her. What the hell is this? I don't know. This is some weird Has the stress finally gotten to us and we're and we're and we've gone insane? No, seriously, have we started going insane? Everyone leaves me. Ethan Rose. I don't want to feel... Oh, God. This can't be real. Ethan, I don't think this is real. I... I legit think you're starting to go a little bit insane. Like, legit. I think the stress has gotten to you. 
Or is it... Oh, that's welcoming. That's welcoming. Something Beneviento, 1987 to 19... Wow, this person was only nine, eight, nine years old when they passed away. Oh my god, that's sad. Anyway, this is a very comforting place to be. A, a graveyard. Mmm. Uh... You, you, you honestly might be, Ethan. You honestly might be. Is there anything that I can get here? Anything I can shoot down from the treetops? No. Okay, good. Uh, let's just go here. Give up your memories. Oh, okay, memories, yeah. So that's where the family photo comes in. Well, okay, I had this family photo randomly with me. I don't know why, but here we go. I'm giving up my memories. What's going on? Can I get it now? Wait, what? It doesn't even connect with the inside of the door. What kind of mail slot is that? That sucks. Oh, God, it's dark. Oh, God, it's dark. Oh, no. So, does Creepy... Okay, uh, this is Beneviento, obviously. But I'll just call him Creepy Geppetto. Does Creepy Geppetto live in a cave? If so, am I going to fight dolls in the cave? I don't want to fight dolls in the cave. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm just like, have my gun out at the... Close quarter shotgun. What was that? Okay, Bob and we. Where the bop 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 Oh, that's creepy. Come with me, Ethan. I don't want to go anywhere. It can this elevator ride be over with, please? Oh my god, I'm actually a little bit creeped. Elevator ride. Elevator. Oh my god, elevator! <laughs> I'm like looking both sides for openings and then like put a shotgun right, right here. Is there anything here? <laughs> Is there death? Does death wish to visit me? Okay. Any treasures? No treasures. Okay, good. And uh oh. Okay, I I'll I'll have to admit this. This is a very scenic, beautiful mansion. Wow. Wow. That is a mansion slash humongous house overlooking a waterfall. That is beautiful. If this were a creepy game, I would admit openly that this is beyond beautiful. It's also beyond loud, this waterfall. How can anyone sleep next to a waterfall? I feel like I have to shout just to be heard. Oh my god. This this waterfall sound effect. I really feel like I'm shouting now just to be heard. Uh, is there anything that I can get around here? No. Okay. Uh, anything along the side of this house? No. Any shinies and glimmeries? No. No, I didn't want to go in yet. Ethan! Can I go back out? Thank you. I wasn't ready yet, Ethan. God damn you. Okay. Oh, I can't break that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, closer to the waterfall, I really feel like I'm shouting. I'm probably annoying the people outside of my room, to be perfectly honest, but... Ah ha ha! Good thing I turned around and see that. I can't even hear above this waterfall. There we go. Okay. Oh wait, I didn't... I don't think I fully checked. Okay, let's go inside. It is very loud out here. Shut the door, please. Okay. Okay, so for the most part, indoors. 
I guess it's well insulated, so the noise doesn't exactly travel out. Thank God. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't think anyone can sleep right next to a waterfall. It's like trying to put a house next to Niagara Falls. No one's going to fall asleep there. Okay, that's fine. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to be careful of these corners. I'm pretty sure I'm going to run into something. I'm going to run into a creepy Geppetto doll. I'm going to run into Pino Pinocchio. Oh, boy. Uh, upstairs? Let's see. I hear clo There is, like, no music. This is so... Oh, there's nothing here. Okay, that's fine. I heard noises. Wait, there's really nothing in this house? Okay, sure. There's nothing. That's perfectly fine. No items. D uh, creepy Geppetto. Uh, uh, Beneviento. That, uh, okay, I'll just say Beneviento. I'll stop with the creepy Geppetto. <laughs> uh, Beneviento is a poor person. I don't even know if it's a man or a woman. It's just a person. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, that's a clock. That's a door. There we go. Okay, anything in here? Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There was something here. Can I break this vase? <coughs> okay, that's a durable vase. <laughs> that's how you know it's fake. It doesn't break. Uh... Okay, I legit see nothing. Okay, you know what? Whatever. I'll come back for it later. Uh, anything in this room? No. There's nothing in this room. Okay, there's another creepy doll. But other than the creepy doll, this place looks normal. But then again, the castle looked normal too, so what am I saying? Okay, a, a little bit of old wallpaper. Kind of ramshack. There is nothing in here. Like, legit nothing. And I'm getting a little bit creeped out by this. Uh... Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, an elevator. I just heard a noise. Uh, an elevator. Okay. That is an interesting house that it has its own elevator to go to the basement. <laughs> Not even a set of stairs, just a legit elevator. So if there's ever a power outage, whoever's in the basement is pretty much screwed until the power comes back on. <laughs> that is not safe. That is not Cal... I, I, don't, I don't think that's up to code with Cal Losha. <laughs> Uh, anything in here? There is... Oh. Examine. A breaker box. I... No duh, Sherlock. I know it's a breaker box. Okay, you just can't open it. That's fine. Uh... I'm willing to bet there's... I'm willing to bet that there's something in that breaker box. There is nothing in this room, though. There's a whole bunch of books. Okay, this, this is a very quiet, creepy house. I am not happy. <laughs> oh, no. Hello? Beneviento? Cre creepy Geppetto? Killer Pinocchio? Is anyone here? There's music. Hey, that's actually some nice music. Wait, let me sit still for a moment just to listen to it. Okay, that's kind of... That's kind of an interesting music choice. It sounds kind of like... Celtic... Celtic style? Maybe, uh... Irish jig style? I mean, just listen to that. Okay, that's a nice song. That really is actually a nice song. <laughs> Too bad I had to disrupt it by opening this door. Uh, excuse me. Uh, something tells me I should pick that up later. <laughs> Let me just ex explore. Explore. Oh my god, there's a lot of crap here. There's that. 
No, don't turn it off. Turn it back on. Oh. Okay, well, I, I obviously don't have a key for this room. Oh, man, I turned off the radio. I like that song. I really did. That, that was like some nice Celtic Irish jig music. Okay, anything here? Okay, we can examine symbols. That's perfectly fine. I didn't want to examine that symbol. Okay, that's perfectly fine. So, you want me to just grab this thing off the Pinocchio? Wait, isn't this the... Oh, no, it's her. It's the, it's the live Pinocchio doll, except in girl form. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, you know what? Let me just be out here for a hot moment. Open the door in case she decides to attack me. Uh, open all the way. And we'll just go ahead and call it end of this episode. Oh, God, I'm not gonna... Actually, you know what? There's a save point here. No, I'll do the save point after I close. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, God, this doll. She has a piece of rose, and I am not happy about this. Oh, boy. Th this is gonna be fun. I just know it. <laughs> Later, everyone.